Okay guys, so the most common question I get on Slack, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, you name it, is how can I get started in AI career? Well, basically what I did was that I actually brought an AI engineer here, you will see him in a second, he's called Simon, he's awesome, and he's gonna tell you exactly how you can get started with your AI engineer career, guys. So stay tuned, listen to Simon, he's a good preacher, has some good knowledge. Okay guys, let's get going. Hey guys, my name is Simon Vestlin, and I'm a junior AI developer at Star Counter VPD, and I'm here to tell you about how you can start your AI career. We're gonna go through it in a step-by-step -step fashion and by the end of this video you should have a great idea of how to start. So before we get into it it's important to remember that the key here is to create value for the company. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for how to create more value for the company and how to become more employable. Step number one learn enough to be an asset. This is a really hard part I know but there are several ways you can go about this. For one, you can get a formal education, or there are some great online courses. Uh, two of these are uh, Andrew Nugent's machine learning course and uh, Jeffrey Hinton's neural networks for machine learning. And at this stage, there will be one big bottleneck often, and that is that the maths will be quite difficult if you don't have a formal education. But try and stick with the maths. Try and understand as much as possible because it will really help you out further on, even if you won't need the intuition of all the maths throughout your work. A third option is to take one of these 10-week boot camps. I haven't done any of those myself, so I can't vouch for them, but the key here is to look at review and try to understand how good they are because they do vary in quality a lot. In particular, try and check the actual teachers or tutors for these courses. Do they have the relevant experience? Have they worked in the field or something? And that should give you a good indication of if it's a good course or not. Step two, value proposal. So here you want to start by choosing an industry or a company that you're interested in. And then you try and figure out how can you create value for this company. It's really good if you can find something that you can implement for them. Try and find a need they have today. It's really good because it shows initiative and it gets them thinking about what they can use you for. And maybe they have some completely unrelated idea to what you proposed, but the mere fact that you propose something will be really important. And there are two primary ways you can create value for a company. The first one is automation. You can take something that the company already does, but through the power of AI, you can make that a very cheap and efficient process. And the second one is to come up with something new that the company cannot do right now and use AI to give them capabilities they didn't have before. It's often good to try and think deeper than just the end value transaction that the company has. In every company there are hundreds and thousands of different little processes that come together to create the end value proposition and all of those are potential things that you can use AI with to make better. Step three, contact the company. You can do this by virtually any means and you can contact virtually any company because today almost every company is looking for someone to help them with AI or has something really important that they want done. And another little piece of advice, try and find someone in middle management and contact them on LinkedIn because the people in middle management sometimes want more recognition than they currently get but they're not too busy that they do not have time to review your application. And lastly, be interested, be positive, be proactive and show them that you really want to work at that company and show them what value you can create for them. Guys, if you thought this video with Simon was awesome, if you now think that you have a better way to actually start your AI career, it's not as confusing, as scary and all that, guys, hit the subscribe button down here to your right and hit the bell right next to it so you get notified when I upload new videos like this. And if you like the you know, actual knowledge that Simon proposed to us here, hit the like button as more people will see this. We can share this knowledge with all other people around on YouTube. And guys, as always, Ways. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon again. Or maybe Simon does. We'll see. We'll see, you guys.